Hello and welcome to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. This is episode 3. In the previous episode, I finally managed to get wood production underway and started constructing my um, main bus down here. The next step is going to be to add in some of the um, resources that, that are needed to build up the, um, the rest of the belt types down here, and then we'll see you after that. For the uh, splitters here, I'm going to need to get some uh, copper running. Um, I got the iron running in the previous episode, that was that was fine, um, but now I need to do more or less the same thing over here for the copper. So at the moment I've got these two miners feeding into a, a crusher and then into the into the furnaces, but they're all going to be horrendously slow because they're burner ones, and also they're just not going to, so they're just not going to produce enough. So I'm going to need a load of um, electric miners, which I can find here. Okay, we'll start off with three, I suppose. Uh, what am I short of making more? Iron. Okay, iron I can collect more of. That's not a problem. Some more of that. There we go. Another five. That's going to be more than enough. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to run straight into this um, into this cliff face down here. But I guess I should be able to get under that with some um, under with some underground belts, and I'll clear them up later. And get some belts in. I've only got 17 of them, but. I'm building them over here so I can pick up some more. 200 will do me for a while. Well, I basically want to copy the design I've used over here. So I've got some um, uh, standard, I've got some uh, normal crushers. Let's see if I can build some of those. No, I can't because I don't need bricks. Here, and grab some bricks. Uh, crusher. Grab some more bricks and build another one as well. Two crushers should be plenty. Uh, I'm out of iron again. Okay, because at this at this early stage of the game, you don't use anything like as much um, copper up as you do as you do iron. Later on in the game, sure, um, the cop you use significantly more copper because of all the circuits you're building. But at this point, uh, having t having two stone crushers down here should be plenty. And like before, and we've got some splitters again. Uh, not splitters, inserters again. Let's build some more of those. While that's going, I'm going to uh, put some power in for these uh, miners. There we go. Need some more of those as well. More power. And now I'm. Oh, it's wood I'm out of. That's not so bad. I can fix that. In fact, I'm going to need to chop down some of these trees at some point anyway. Okay. So as we found out with with the um, with the iron, you can, you can get two of these next to each other like that and still manage to power everything. Um, well, actually, I think I prefer it with the um, power poles in between them, like this. Just feels neater. And then. Some more of those. I can run them up here to get power from power from that. Okay, with that, with that, and we need to use a splitter as before to split off the stone. And for now, uh, no, what? Stone, uh, crushed stone. There we go. And turn it off to the right. And for now, I'm just going to put this straight into a box because I don't want to have to deal with it just yet. Um, later on, I'll probably have to invest in bigger boxes, um, and then also some some way of actually dealing with it because just putting it in a box and forgetting about it isn't really all that great. <laughs> but you need other things like acid and a lot more technology than I've got to uh, actually deal with it properly. So let's see if I can come down here. Are they underneath these? Yes. Underneath there. No, I'm going to develop yellow belts, which needs tin. Okay. For now. <laughs> Yeah. For now, I should just run round this cliff. This is going to get very annoying later. See, the next thing I'm going to need to do is to get tin up and running, just so I get some decent length underground belts. So, um, furnaces. I've got two of them. To start, put them in there. Oh, and I need to bring coal down here as well for this, don't I? Another splitter for that. If I break that off up here. That over here into the woods. You know what, I've got wood in that one. Let's make coal the next thing on the bus and I can just pull it off the bus. It's there. Cut my way through the forest. Straight down here. Right, and another underground belt to come across here. And that belt. I'll get some more from there. It's great having a supply of belts that I don't need to worry about, so I can just grab more of them like that. And I'm going to need some more furnaces. Let's have another five. 
I'm also going to need a lot of inserters for this, and I've only got <laughs> I've only got supplies for two. What am I out of for now? Iron. Okay. Always oh, iron at the moment. So come over here, grab some more iron off the bus, and another fifteen. Yeah, fifteen inserters should keep me going for a little while. I'll put these down. Power needs to come down here as well. Stretch. Oh, let's put it there. Make some more of those because I'm going to need them again. I know I'll need those soon. Inserters. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Loading. Unloading. And we can belt the copper. Now, if I bring it upwards for now, then I can just. Um, then when I need to uh, put more of them in there, I can just carry on downwards without having to worry about where this belt goes. So, copper I was going to put in here. So, I need another splitter. I should just build several of those and several of those, shouldn't I? And I'll stop running out quite so much. So, this is going to come in here. I'm going to put the splitter in like that. Then, put copper going. eventually have copper going both ways on the bus. Underground belts like so. And then here, this is a. Oop, uh, one, two, one. I can't count. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, no, it should be coming up a row earlier. And then turning, there we go. Right, so that should be ready. If I tell that to start crushing this stuff, then I'll pass it all through there. Let's make sure this looks like it's working. Yep, looking good. <laughs> I've got that problem with the um, inserter not being fast enough here, but... The amount of copper I'm going to need at this stage, I don't think I actually care. That's probably going to be alright. So now we'll start to see the copper trickling out along here and up, up to here. Is that everything now? Have I got everything I need to build underground belts? Yes. So the next thing... Uh, splitters. So the next thing is going to be the underground belts. What if I... Actually, what if I bring this in across here instead? Because I think I'm going to need stone for the underground belts, isn't it? Wood, stone... Oh, wood and stone. Um... I could get stone onto this one, like that, and that. But if I need wood as well, then I'm going to have to split this. That. It's a bit of a mess, but never mind. So, you do underground belts, and to do that, you need. You need. belts, that, that, and. I'm always out of everything. Okay, then load it to there. Gonna be power for them. Get them there. And eventually I'll get a wooden box to put them in. Good. So that's all. That's um, basic belts built up and running now. That's good. Next step is to get um, science running. I don't like having it feeding off this belt here. I'm going to want to do a lot of expanding of the, the belt construction in this area, I, can t I, I think. Like eventually I'll start to get the yellow belts and hopefully red and maybe even blue belts running here. So I'm going to pull all this up again. That. Extend this further down by quite some way, and this one as well. I can then build that out there and belt like that, and then an underground belt there for that one. A splitter here for that. That can cross like that. So that gives me iron and copper. With okay, so what are my ratios for um, yellow science? Is it going to be the same as the, um, the red science from vanilla? All right, so it takes five seconds to build one of those. And it uses one of each. It takes half a second to build one of those, but it uses two iron. Okay, so I'm going to start off by making Science Packs one assembly machine per um, per second it takes at at one time speed. So I'm going to make five assembly machines making these, but one of those will be enough to to deal with it. So if I um, get the assembly machine here, uh, that one's going to make cogs. That'd be quite nice to just put the cogs on the near side of this belt, uh, sorry, far side of this belt. We'll put that there and say have a priority copper. There's copper plates, there's copper plates. And then the other way around. There we go. So that's just copper now. Put another belt there. I can then have that loading like that, unloading like that. And then my next five machines, one, two, three, four, five. Cogs. Science. Uh, get some more belts. There aren't any more belts because these are too busy using up all of my belts. Let's restrict that to 50 for now. And that one, that one to 50 as well. So the belt should start to build up soon. <laughs> While we're waiting for that, bring some power down as well. OK, 
couple of that there. Just gonna get that one. I'll get that one. Get that one. <coughs> and then I'm gonna need to unload as well. So put one there and one. Sure there. Ten inserters. That's just going to be enough for this. Belts. Good. Inserters. And then outputs. Other belt. I'm going to start another line here and put the science on it, I think. Maybe I should investigate grenades so I can get rid of these trees a bit more easily. So, gap of two. Bring them down here. Doesn't have to be far. Can't be far. Okay, get some more belts. Bring them across here. I mean, I know I'm soon going to be building some more science factory. Uh, science labs, but for now, one will be sufficient. Okay, more inserters. Alright, so now we can start researching things. What do I want to go for first? Transport just gets me. More logistics, land landfills quite useful, power, what's that? Oops, heat pipes. Okay, I don't think I need that at the moment. Um don't need that. Don't need that yet. <laughs> that doesn't look that useful. That's going to be useful because I'm going to start building circuit very soon. And that'll allow me to do it much more quickly. That would be good too, because that'll let me um get the speed my inserters up a bit, and that's the problem I was running into with the uh all the things coming out of the uh, old crushed stone coming out of the um, crushes. Sniper turrets might be interesting, um, but I'll need uh, grey science for that, and uh, that's not something I've developed yet. So later. Um, but yeah, electronics assembly machines for now. In fact, let's build some more science, uh, some another two science labs, get them up and running too. Then I think um, getting yeah insert getting this inserter production automated and probably assembly machines done as well. Oh, but those are both going to require green, uh, no, basic, basic circuit boards, aren't they? So I'll need to get that. I want to get the um, this research finished first. Still, I can clear up some space for the first. Oh, I should check on the um, my turrets actually. Make sure they still got ammunition and are defending against the ravening hordes. Two and five. Yeah, let's go and top them up a bit. How much ammunition can I make? None. Okay, there's some iron, PT2, that's a good amount of ammunition to have. Shall move these a bit closer, I think, actually. There and there. So they're still tucked behind the wall. They're still just covering everything. But now they've um, I hit the biters a little bit sooner. Are there any other biters on my... Oh, there's some down there. Those aren't going to be a problem for a little while. That cliff's going to be annoying, because I'm going to run my... Um, uh, bust straight into it at some point. I'm not going to have cliff explosives for a good while yet either, so that's going to be a pain. I think some more radar would be good as well, so I can see a bit further down down here, even if I run up to the top. There we go. 38 in that one, 35 in that one. That'll keep keep the area safe for a while. It's more ammunition for myself as well, just in case. And in fact, while I'm at it, let's have a submachine gun and some more iron. Okay. At some point I'm going to need to start thinking about uh, building a wall and lots more turrets around the outside of the base, just to keep the biters at bay. Uh, they haven't been too much of a problem yet. They've been, okay, there's been those few attacks up on my coal mine, but basically they've left me alone. But I know that's not going to last. At some point, I'm going to hear the alarm, alarms going off as they as they rip through and eat half my base. So since I've got those um, walls building, being built, maybe I should just go and use them and build up some um, some defences. At least that way I'll get some advance warning when they start to chew their way through them. And, uh, oh, okay, so I'm not actually building walls at the moment. That's a shame. Uh, that's something I can add relatively easily. It's just going to be some long belts. Get me down to the rest of the sort of the um, manufacturing area. Long belts. Okay. Oh, so just long enough for that. Thank you. Let's do that just a little bit south of the science. 
far enough now. One, two, you are just out of Okie dokie, one. Uh, to be honest, one building. Now let's have two, but we'll put a wooden box in halfway between them. Got plenty of wood now. There we go. Some power. There? Yes, there. Will that reach? Yes, it will. Cool. So, you, I want to build walls, and you as well. I should probably start building radars as well. Um, but they, again, is another thing that requires circuits, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, that might as well just keep going and going, because I'm not using bricks anywhere else, and it's a nice way to use up all that crushed stone that's being generated by the uh, by the iron production. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh well. What's that? Oh yeah. I could, of course, just build some more things that will use up that stone, and that'd be sensible. Of course, I've run the coal through the obvious place to do this, and divert that up, up and around a bit. Another two of those, should we say? Those are easy keeping up with that. Um, more furnaces, you say? All right, then. furnaces. They seem to be the same speed or not? They seem to be. Oh, <laughs> for goodness' sake! You'd think I'd learn to plan a little bit further ahead by now, wouldn't you? But no, it doesn't happen. Come back. In fact, you know what? Let's just go all the way over here. Oh no, at least this coal will mean I've got something to fill the um, furnaces with. That's the thought. These are eventually going to run out of coal. It's got lots in it though, so it's not it's going to be a good while before that happens. Uh, so yeah, you two make stone as well. Oops, that. <laughs> and then down here like that. And then you need some coal each. Remind me to come back and check on those every so often for coal, though, I suppose I could. Yeah, right, let's, um, so I want to have underground belts, and I want to have splitters, and I want to have normal belts. So, if I, that, um, <laughs> of course it doesn't fit, that'd be easy. Um, that, spaghetti time, that's horrific, but never mind, you know. It's stupid, but it works. It ain't stupid. I think that might still be stupid, actually. I've got all this, though. Get on with it. And I know I said I shouldn't put crushed stone in there, but what else am I going to do with it all? Okay, so we're building walls up, won't we? Oh yeah, we're waiting for the electronics assembler to finish. That's why we were faffing around with walls and other nonsense. What's the next thing to research, then? Um, oh yeah, inserted capacity. No, that requires red science as well. Wood processing, maybe chemistry, metallurgy. Which allow me to dig water up out of the ground. I don't know. I have to, re have to research that. I don't think I trust it. I don't know. Let's just start getting laser guns because they're going to be very useful later. Because uh, I can't bother to faff around with ammunition for for that long. Okay, so walls. Let's put some walls down so we just don't get surprise bited. Um, let's see. So. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be around this area, so this should be fairly safe. If I block off across there and across there, and then maybe up there through the woods, it will at least give me some advance warning if I'm going to get everything eaten. Okay, so... There... Right, that's impassable. So is this forest, apparently. I've only got 19 brick, uh, wall pieces left. That's not going to go all the way across this gap, is it? Can I reach? Can I reach? Should be able to. Come on. There we go. Yes. Long wall, saving me from my inability to plan ahead since, well, long wall, long reach, long reach, saving me from my inability to plan ahead since, well, how long have I been playing now? About two hours. There, that's safe as well. Up here we've got this cliff coming up along here, so I want to build diagonally across there, ideally. <laughs> okay, that's the end of it. No, 
Okay, so if I want lasers, laser turrets, no, laser, laser turrets, laser turrets. Oh, that needs all of, oh my god, it needs all of this. Okay then, let's just get started, more or less at random. Um, Uh oh. Oh. Uh, I did not know biters considered walls something to, to attack. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have put this in here. Uh, okay. Uh, there was me just wanting an early warning system. Right, okay. Uh, this isn't going to go well. This is going to attract. Okay, I'm going to demolish this wall then. And so the first warning I'm going to get is when they come in here and eat those furnaces. But I want to go out and deal with that base up there, but even if I walk turrets, I'm not sure it's going to be... I could place a turret right in the middle of the base, I suppose, and, or on the edge of it. And, I don't know. Get rid of this, I suppose. This is just along the edge of an area I've already built, so hopefully they won't get too intrigued. I want to go over to there, but that certainly won't help. Okay, let's put the rest of these down here anyway. And then probably another turret up to... So I've got an active defence rather than just a passive one. And yeah, let's repair these. Build me a turret, and a lot more ammunition, and I need a lot more iron. Got enough trees already, thank you. Okay, a lot more iron, uh, a lot more ammunition. Oh god, what? Over there? What the hell are they doing over there? Stop eating my... everything. Where did they come from? At least all they've eaten is a burner inserter. Oh, and a pylon. That could have been a lot worse. Uh, repair that. And that. Okay, that I was not expecting. They must have come in from... Does that mean they... Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. Is that turret I just built? There it is. Kill. <sighs> so much for my. Um, maybe if I build it over here, they'll leave it alone. Is that tree repairing itself? No, I think it's just my imagination. Okay, let's build me a wall across here. What do? So, I've got a wall going across here, down here, down here. Over here, I haven't. Six. Hmm. <laughs> Don't need this anymore. So with that, I can go to here. Blocked off safely. And then, I guess, I come across here like that. And like that. That's neat. Okay, so now I'm protected, well, to here at least. Um, and by protected, I mean I will get some early warning because my walls will be eaten before I get attacked. Um, eventually, I'll try and build a wall that comes all the way down here. I'm, of course, put turrets all the way along it and run ammunition. I guess I need to run ammunition belts as well to keep the turrets firing. And I should probably come and repair those again. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Circuits. That was the next thing on the list, wasn't it? use up some of that wood I've been creating. That's going to be a fairly big thing, because I know what sort of rate I tend to use circuits up at. Right, so, now these things are slightly better than these because they're, um, they're significantly faster. So that's the basic one of these has a crafting speed of 0.5, the basic one of these has a crafting speed of 1. Uh, it does use it uses less iron but more circuits to build, it's interesting. So let's build four of those to start off with. And what's that use? What have I run out of now? Iron. Iron. Okay, I can get more of that. That's the problem. I think I want to have six to start with. Oh no, that's, I'm thinking of green circuits from vanilla. They're also smaller, which is nice. Um, so we're going to have to build cogs. Oh really? Oh no, that's for building the actual things themselves. Wooden boards and wire to build the circuit boards. Uh, let's check out the ratios. Electrolyzer. I wonder what that does. 
doesn't say. So, basic circuit boards, where are you hiding? Here you are. Uh, you take one wooden board and three copper cable, and these take, uh, take half a second to produce. These take one second to produce. So, one of those can feed two wooden boards in half a second, so one of those can feed four of those. That makes two in half a second as well, so one of those can feed four as well. So, I need one of each of these to feed for every four assembly machines. Right, so that means it isn't like that. Put a belt between them like that, and then one, two, three, four, input there, input there, output there. Let's run that bit. Let's run this way. I don't like having it <laughs> too close to those, I can't run anything around the outside. Never mind. Uh, okay, so you're making that, you're making that, you're making that, and so you guys. So you take that in, you take that in, put that out, out. Let's run the belts while I'm waiting. So, this one's taking in copper, which means I need that there, and undergrounds to actually link them up. I need wood. Where's my wood belt? There's my wood belt. Go. Right. And power, of course. There and there. And there and there. For symmetry. This should. Oh, these grabbers can't go fast enough. And then. Okay. Insert. Oh, I need to get the red science in order to get the capacity bonus up. Okay. Uh, well, that's practically done, so the moment. Oh, I built some more of these, didn't I? Should have those up and running. Of course, there's no point in having them in my inventory. There we go. Um, let's investigate red science because then I can find out how to make it. Oh, it's not too bad. It's a bit of a faff, though. Because then once I've got that, I can get the uh, insert capacity. Oh, for now, we have to do that, of course. <laughs> Poor man's then. Insert capacity bonus. It should start being enough more to well, they're gonna run out of things soon anyway. Uh, sorry, that's not a variable there. Where am I putting these on? <laughs> oh yeah. I know, no, no, no. Copper, 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 copper. Blank, blank. Basic circuits. Of course, that isn't gonna work. I need to have a double gap. But I probably could have a single gap. But apparently I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have a bit of space there just in case I realise I've forgotten something. Okay, are they all running? Mm, not really. There's. I assume I'm out of iron. I always seem to be out of iron. There's a double layer in there as well because it just didn't seem to be keeping up. It doesn't seem to be running quite as fast as I thought it should be. Did I get those ratios wrong? No, it's just. No, it is just that the um, inserters can't pull the stuff out quickly. Enough. Can I go past that? Yes. Okay. Oh dear, this is going to be dirty now. Um. Okay, we're going to get past this cliff one way or another, and then at some point straighten them out again. Can get through? No, I can't get through there. The iron's going to have to come through here. I can get to two. Yeah. yeah. Get the iron through there. Oops. No. Over. Down. Up. Dead. Apparently, this is harder than it looks. I look forward to having two explosives. Really do. Right, that's the next bit of the cliffs around here. Because I'm getting quite close to that other biter's nest down there. Uh, to the southwest, so I'm going to put in another piece of wall here. Like this. Kinking it. That wasn't meant to be there. That. And like that. Oh god, where are they attacking now? There. Oh no. I can't build another turret, I don't have the iron for it. I can build some ammunition. Yep, there we go. That's the, that's the wall being eaten through. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay, turret's engaging. At least some of them. That was where they came through, wasn't it? Yeah. At least it was just the walls. Um. Yeah, I need to build more turrets now. Okay, well, I'm clearly going to get distracted by uh, biters for the next age, so 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it an episode here. I've done a bit of construction on the main bus and get and reautomating some stuff. So now it's time to go and uh, spend the next episode building up defences. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.